Right, hi guys, welcome to Forking Allotment. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the 2019 review challenge. Six questions about my gardening year in 2019. So please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, but other than that, here we go. This was um, a video I saw by Steve from Digwell Greenfingers. Um, and uh, I said that I would do a video also. Um, it was also started by Jazz from Alternative Small Holding. Um, so check those out, I'll leave links down below. Um, and I will leave uh, the questions down below so that you can copy and paste and do your own videos. Um, so, question one, what did I enjoy the most? So what did I enjoy the most? Um, I, I enjoyed getting out and being out and about, um, um, out on the plot and being out in fresh air um, and actually enjoying growing and eating the um, produce that I was growing. Um, other than that, I enjoy being part of the YouTube community. Um, everybody's been brilliant, so thank you very much. Um, and all of the people that I've met on here, um, I'd like to call you my friends. Thank you very much, and please keep on being so supportive as you have been already. Um, question two, what was your best crop of 2019? Uh, a lot of you will probably know that the crop that I got the most from was cucumbers look back in the June videos uh, in the sort of summer June July August videos um, I got a hell of a lot of cucumbers um, at one point I had 21 plants so I had to cut it down to eight plants um, from which I got a lot of cucumbers um, so I had to I had to give them some away I was just inundated inundated with cucumbers um, and tomatoes as well I got quite a lot of tomatoes as well which is quite good um, although the beef steak tomatoes didn't do very well. Biggest challenge of 2019. Uh, the biggest challenge, um, uh, gardening wise, has been keeping uh, pests off my crops, um, especially rabbits and birds. And I had to net around my, my uh, beds so that um, rabbits couldn't get into them and net over my um, onions this year because last year. Pigeons got in and ate my onions and pulled them, whatever they did to them. Anyway, um, that was one of the biggest challenges of uh, 2019. Um, other than my mental health issues, my depression and anxiety. But um, I won't go into that in this video. So, what was your worst crop of 2019? So, my worst crop um, was uh, quite a few, there was a few actually, celeriac just all top growth, nothing underneath. Um, the same with carrots, same with turnips, all crop top growth, nothing underneath. The turnips were all top growth and then just mush underneath. Uh, I don't know if I left them too long or something, but they weren't. They didn't do very well. Um, and also peppers, um, peppers and chilies didn't get much from them either. So, um, what new skill did I learn? Um, I think the only really thing I could say is that I've learned what it is like to have an allotment and what it is like to be on the allotment pretty much full time um, and what it's like to um, have a YouTube channel and be part of YouTube and be part of Instagram and Twitter. Um, I've met so many great people um, on all of the all of the um, social networks on YouTube, on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, so I'd like to thank everybody that's been um, a part of this. Um, journey, everybody that's helped me out and everybody that will continue to help me out in the future. Um, I'm not going anywhere so this is going to be, uh, we're going to only improve from here. Um, but I'd say that my video editing um, and my um, ed my uh, presentation of a video um, are skills that I have learned but um, are skills that need to improve, especially my um, presentation of a video I know that my presentation could be better um, but other than that I think that um, I've done okay and people have commented that they do enjoy my videos um, so thank you very much um, and what are my plans for 2020 so my plans are to keep the YouTube channel going um, to upload at least once a week um, I would like to do it three I would like to upload three times a week um, if possible, um, but that will become more uh, easier later on in the season when um, it becomes more 
there's going to be more sowings to do and more more is going to be growing in the in the allotment um, and also um, I would like to do um, I'd like to continue doing my monthly sowing and growing guides um, with the support of everybody and the support of um, everything I've, I've found out over the last year as well um, and what else would I like what else is we doing in 2020 so we're going to be trying out some new crops we've got some asparagus peas some black opal tomatoes and some uh, cucumber melons which we got from King's Seeds um, and I'm also going to be getting some potatoes from King's Seeds as well so now we build as well and um, we're going to be trying square foot gardening we're going to be doing some no dig with raised beds um, and uh, we're going to be carrying on with traditional gardening we're going to be carrying on with the greenhouse and the polytunnel um, and we are hopefully going to get a secondary polytunnel which we're going to use as a nursery for seeds and seedlings um, other than that the uh, we will be getting some chickens at some point um, we are allowed six hens on our plot um, so we're going to build a, a decent-ish sized um, enclosure for them the current smaller shed um, which is at the top end of the allotment is going to be um, repurposed as a chicken enclosed chicken shed and then I've got um, my brother I've got a cage an old um, I think it's like a dog cage or something it's big I mean it is massive um, I think we're looking at about 12 foot by 6 foot um, for the enclosure so it's not going to be a small enclosure by any means um, and once the um, plot is kind of fenced off properly then um, they will have free reign around the, around the plot as much as they can do um, and also we're going to build a um, fruit cage at the bottom of the um, allotment and um, yeah build a fruit cage so we can put our fruit into there we've got two two sherry trees two cherry trees, an apple tree, and a blackcurrant bush at the moment. Uh, the blackcurrant bush I got from uh, Blackmore Fruit Nursery. Um, it was given to me for, sorry, it was given to me for um, a review, and I will be putting that in properly on a video at some point. Um, what else would I be doing for 2020? Um, I was hoping I was going to get on an uh, Open University um, course for um, psychology, um, psychology and criminology, um, but it's not looking like I'm going to go out on it at the moment because um, I can't get anybody to sign my paperwork. Um, so it needs to be like a doctor or something and I can't get that signed. So that's not, not going to happen at the moment. Um, so. Uh, who would I like to tag in this video? The first thing is, um, I'd like to obviously tag uh, Steve at Digwell Greenfingers, Jazz at Alternative Small Hoarding. Thank you for um, the concept that you've come up with for this um, for these questions. Um, also, Nick's Allotment Diary. We had a nice um, chat on Nick's live um, Q and A the other day. Um, so, hi Nick, and uh, thank you for your support. Um, and also uh, Joe and Kelly at Digging for Dinner, thank you very much. Um, you've been an inspiration. These, this is a lot of you have inspired me. But Joe, um, Joe and Kelly at Digging for Dinner um, is main inspiration for my channel. So um, that's Joe at Digging for Dinner. Um, I will put links down below in the description. Um, Blue Star Dave, I love your videos. You make me laugh all the time. So thank you very much. Um, and Sean at Sean's Kitchen Garden, Sean James Cameron at Sean's Kitchen Garden. Um, again, love your videos. Um, love you are so, just such a nice person, and thank you very much for um, being who you are. And again, you've been an inspiration and one of the reasons, along with digging for dinner, why I started my channel. So. Um, yeah, other than anything else, that is everything I think for this video. Um, I'm going to try and keep it under just under uh, probably just over 10 minutes now because I'm rambling. Uh, but please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, please do leave a comment. Please do get in touch with me. Please do check out Sow Seeds up here. 
um, and also do check out my uh, socials up here as well and do follow me on my social media as well if you do um, subscribe on the channel do go and follow me on social media as well um, but other than that thank you um, and I shall see you all in the next video thank you very much and keep warm and keep safe thank you goodbye